Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching these uh, short encouragements. And uh, so here we go. This is going to be uh, Philippians 4. And I want to tell you that sometimes we get in the habit of seeing negative things or looking at negative things. And when we get in the habit of being negative, everything we see is negative. We just see everything is negative. We only pick up on the negative things. We only pick up on the things that we shouldn't be picking up on. But let me read Philippians 4, 8 to you. Many of you will know what it says. It says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is anything excellent, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. So, you know, set your mind on things above, the Bible says as well. So look for honorable things. Look for the things in people that are honorable. Look for the things in the places where you go that are honorable and good. Look for the just, pure, and true aspects of this life while we're in it. You know, the truth of who God is and the truth of what, uh, how God really sees people. Allow that to be cultivated um, as you set your mind on things above and as you think on these things. Look for those things that are excellent. Hey, look at this. Ask God this question. What? God, what does excellent look like in me to you? What I mean is, how does God see you as excellent? Does it mean you're doing everything right and everything perfect and you're really scrambling to, to, to achieve excellence? Or does it mean that you've been made in the image of God and he sees you as excellent already? We just need to catch up our thinking to where he's already thinking about us. So think about that. Say, God, show me the excellence in me that you've created. Another thing, God's order, God's excellent. God's grace, I'm sorry, excellence, God's greatness, God's perfection often does not look like what we think it should look like. What God sees as order often doesn't look like what we think. His excellence, his greatness, how he sees us is often not how we think about ourselves. So set your mind on things above and catch a new perspective. Second Corinthians uh, 12, 9 uh, says this, uh, my grace is all you need. My power is made best in weakness. So now I'm glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. Remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about catching God's perspective for who you are. And so think about that. Christ is made perfect in weakness. He's made perfect through you when we surrender our lives to him. So listen, think about good things this week. Understand that God's excellent in your life and he's doing great things in you. And we bless you in that. We thank you for everything that you do. Pray blessing on you. Catch that in Jesus' name. Amen.